Purple Haze Feedback, a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure novel by Karano Kohei, illustrated and based on the manga by Hirohiko Araki. An empty dream, a selfish, horrific vision, passed on like the deadliest of viruses. Rage Against the Machine, Snake Charmer. There were two figures in the Temple of Apollo, one male, one female. It was night, a new moon. The female lay on her side, barely visible in the faint light of the stars. The man stood looking down at her. She groaned in pain. Call him, the man said, his tone cold. She groaned again. Call Fugo. Call him here, scream, and beg him to come save you. The man's voice betrayed no hint of mercy, only hostility and murder calcified into dark cruelty. The girl only groaned. She did not move. Her arms and legs were twisted in directions they were not meant to go. She could not escape on her own. Don't try and fight me, the man said. It was not a threat, but a statement of fact. Manic depression can control you completely. You no longer have free will. His hand shot out, clutching her throat. His fingers slid beneath her skin, into her flesh. Her scream echoed through the darkness. This is a story about people unable to take action. They have no plans for the future, no comfort in memories. The past and the future are not for them. They exist only in the present, struggling to no avail. Do they struggle to find purchase? To move forward? To retreat? Who knows? They could not tell you. The world that left them to this fate provides no answers. They know only one thing for sure. The ground under their feet is crumbling and they can no longer remain still. They have no tomorrow. No home. How can they find hope? What can they lash out at in their despair? Let us examine one boy, a boy in such a predicament. The boy's name is Panacotta Fugo. There are those who call him a traitor, those who dismiss him as one without shame. His choices will decide what his fate will be. Hello everyone, Mima Cat here, and today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. Obviously, I'm, you know, if anyone's seen my videos before, you'll know that I'm very invested in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And one of the most interesting stories to me is that of Panacotta Fugo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Vento Oreo. And that's because he kind of drops out of the story very abruptly um, halfway through, and we never really get a good conclusion on where he is after the events of part 5, what he's doing, any of that. And Purple Haze Feedback, this novel that I'll be reading, kind of brings it all together in a very nice way, it gives an emotional resolution to Fugo's story. And I've read it once before, I really enjoyed it. Then, uh, I've mostly forgotten what happens, because my memory's pretty ridiculously bad. And so, I, I wanted to reread it, but of course, since uh, I do have a YouTube channel now, I thought I'd do everyone a favor question mark i don't i don't know if you guys will enjoy this hopefully you do but you know kind of just put this out there for people who wanted it or needed it and hopefully it's something that you guys will appreciate i certainly hope you do because this story i really am very very fascinated by how the author kind of develops the story of part five in ways that we hadn't really thought about it before we see uh the d the relationships that all of the characters from part 5 have with each other um, after the events of part 5, you know, Giorno's gang, or sorry, Bruno's like squad in the gang, you know, what happens to them, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so obviously, you know, there'll be spoilers for part 5 because this happens like six months after part 5. Um, we hear a lot about what happens to all of those characters, uh, people like Mista and stuff like that. So yeah, if you haven't read part 5, maybe this isn't for you. 
I would definitely say read part 5 before because you kind of see where Fugo is coming in from. You get all of these moments that Fugo recalls um, that we have personally experienced and you know we kind of have our own emotions regarding them and yeah the author really builds into that, plays into that. If you watch my video on how Araki kind of has like these musical metaphors bubbling throughout his work, you'll, you'll remember that I specifically talk about Purple Haze because he's such an astounding character um, later here in Purple Haze Feedback. Uh, and that's all from, you know, the interaction that we get in part 5. This is also kind of a test reading, kind of seeing how the mic works when I'm reading out loud, um, as well as how my voice kind of sounds, because I haven't really thought about that before. Um, I've just kind of said whatever's been on my mind. I've never really sat down and said, I have to make this sound the best that I can. So definitely leave some feedback on how I can improve, because that would be great. Uh, and if you're excited about this, if you'd like to see more of it, definitely give this video a like, um, subscribe for, you know, the rest of the book, obviously, and share. Please, guys, if you if you guys like this, then I really want you guys to share. The channel needs growth, obviously a very new channel. And so, um, yeah, with all that being said, thank you very much for listening, and I hope you guys enjoy Purple Haze Feedback.